this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to Crazy Horse Gaming and another Versus Thursday. Today we have Marty with us. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we are playing Recoil because somebody's got to. And yeah, this should be a quite interesting Versus Thursday because this game's fucking awful. And yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going to happen on this one or how it's going to work, but we're going to jump straight in. So, <laughs> uh, Marty's Hello, hosting hi. this one. Hello. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we've not quite tried all the game modes yet, so bear with us. There'll be a lot of quitting out and seeing the main menu and things like that you'll see, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to try one called Domination. Don't ask what it is, we're just going to do it, and uh, you'll probably see a lot of Mike just running around the same part of the map, not seeing <laughs> each other, but uh, here we go. Yeah, we don't oh, know if it's... Look at that font. Wow. That. Entering the... the map. Not even entering the streets, entering that looks streets. looks like a rip-off of Gears of War 3. Oh, my character looks like a really low-res version of the dude from um, Army of Two. Yeah, they do actually. All I can choose is Tribe Minutemen and Dark Water. Fuck it, I'll be. Oh, uh, oh. I'm gonna be Charlie. I'll be Mowark. Ah, uh, stuff it, whatever that'll do. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work or who's gonna win. I think we're just playing it because. You, you only know. have to capture these points once, honest. <laughs> I don't believe him. Right. These points ain't gonna catch themselves. Move it, maggot. We're capturing C. Oh dear. So yeah, we uh, were gonna do a look at we of captured this game, C. but we had the problem of we couldn't find anybody to play the game with. Yeah. Um. Ah. Headshot. Ah, he's killed me. Uh, so yeah, if you've got a spur twelve pounds lying around, um, don't buy this game. Uh, I try, you know, I would try and recommend it just so more people will play it, but no. Um, as Mike said, it is fucking awful. Um, and if you're still awake by this point, congratulations. You win a biscuit. <sighs> A half-eaten biscuit, because Mike didn't have any breakfast this morning. <laughs> I mean, that headshot, apparently, that I just got you with. The gun wasn't even pointing anywhere They're near capturing you. capturing A. I'm not quite sure what the hit detection on this thing's like, but... This is just Terminator. It is like Terminator 2, as directed by UV Ball. <laughs> <laughs> We captured. They've uh, captured it. We've not enough people. Right, I've captured it. Woo. Um, this doesn't really work. A kind of capture the flag. Oh God. No, and there's two of you. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> we're just gonna chase each other around catching the same flags. Do so we know where each person is? Yeah. B. B. Although, I don't even know, am I red? Or am I, oh no, yeah, you're winning. Sorry, yeah. Uh, oh, your health regenerates, I think, slowly. Oh no, your ammo, sorry. Shot. Alright. Oh, oh, well, yeah. B. Um, <laughs> also, the fact that you have to actually press to respawn seems a bit weird. Rather than just having a count. Oh, right trigger, yeah. Right, so now I know where Mike is. Um. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The minute one of us captures something else, we know. We are leading the fight. They're capturing B. We're capturing A. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and capture yours while you capture mine. Yeah. Anything you can do, I can do. That's tedious. <laughs> Uh, they couldn't even be bothered to put music in this. Uh, They've captured B. We captured A. 
Oh my days. <laughs> Didn't I? Ah! I that wasn't even a headshot. That, I was like <laughs> aiming more towards a lamppost. Ring A. Oh dear. Oh, we've got. Uh, I'm really probably just going to give up in a minute <laughs> and just try like a death match. Oh. Um. We're capturing A. We'll oh. see this through till the end. They're Whatever capturing C. We captured A. Even the sprint is... He's got a broken ankle. <laughs> They're capturing A. <laughs> yeah, some music would have been nice. Actually, I'm gonna look in the old... Okay, aim doesn't work. They're capturing A. <laughs> I didn't even... If I got a headshot, that was lucky. <sighs> and to be fair, a headshot with an assault rifle, you wouldn't just get one bullet to take them down. It would take quite a few bullets in a headshot. Oh, uh, yeah. But I don't think this game's really quite looking for realism. I don't think it's really looking for gameism, but... We're capturing... <laughs> <laughs> No wonder uh, Plastic Piranha were looking for, uh, were giving cords away for this game. I think they were desperate. Aren't you saying that they've gone bankrupt? No, I said they will be. Oh, they will be. This podcast, the next <laughs> podcast will be out, yeah. That'll be another games company. Um, no disrespect, but rest in peace in advance, uh, Plastic Piranha. Uh, We're capturing B. And you're capturing C. They're capturing A. You've actually won this, to be honest. This is just... <laughs> oh. I don't think anyone can win this, to be honest. I think with it just being two of us, we're just going to wander around for eternity. Well, you're actually winning on the top of the screen there. You've got 452. So you've won this. Uh, we'll the... stick it out till the end, because we've only got four and a half minutes. Oh, even the fucking... <laughs> I can't even, it hurts me thumb to a. sprint. I just can't figure out what they were going for with this, to be honest. Um, we captured A. It doesn't do, you know, whereas you play a game like Singularity or something like that, where it's a first person shooter with different ideas, um, you know, very, very underrated uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 game uh, for anyone out there who hasn't played it. Um, definitely worth checking out. Uh, you know, and this could have been so different. This could have had potential and be, you know what, we're going to offer something like kind of Ghost Recon does. Um, you know, things like that. That kind of is a first person shooter with a difference, you know, but um, this is just. This is bland, you know, I mean, even when I, I found a few players to play it with, the map was so bad, and which we will probably show you next, uh, the subway they map. Um, yeah, uh, well, um, and it was just, I couldn't even find anyone. It was like, it just wasn't fun at all. Um, it just feels like it just, you're running a mill first person shooter with all the te your average team deathmatch, capture the briefcase, deathmatch. They're oh. just taking all the fun out of it though. Yeah. Uh, like you said before, there's no music or anything like that, it's just, you know, yeah. Capturing B. I suppose you want to try and make it a bit more atmospheric. Yeah, I can um, see them aiming for that, but I think in trying to do that, they've just taken any atmosphere away from it. Don't talk about aiming in this game. It <laughs> we captured B. They're capturing B. Yeah, this would probably be better with... Oh, I thought I'd have got an achievement then. Um, yeah, even the achievements are a grind on this game. Um... 
I'll actually, while I'm capturing, I'll even have a look at the achievements. Um, oh, they've captured B. That's the end of that game. Awarded for killing 100 enemies with grenades. Ugh. Awarded for killing 1,000 enemies while using any weapon from the assault class. Uh, all the other classes, 1,000. Uh, awarded for killing enemies by headshot 500 times. Awarded for killing, get this. You're gonna well gonna want this for you because I know you're an achievement whore, Mike. Awarded for killing not 1,000, not 5,000, but 10,000 enemies. Uh, uh, I'll pass on that one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Awarded for capturing the briefcase 250 times. Awarded for getting 250 captures. And awarded for uh, another one. Awarded for receiving a 15 kill streak. Do they really expect people to play this game that long? Yeah, I was disappointed there was no kind of story because that's what I expected. Um, yeah, let's do a team death match. <laughs> 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 um, we did that recondite. For anyone who's wondering, because uh, I know you're all so desperate. Uh, it's basically kind of like a Predator versus Dutch from the first Predator movie, except you don't have the skills, you're just invisible with a knife, except they can still see you, and it's one shot. <laughs> uh, we'll do a death match. Um, I don't know the map. No, we won't do the subway, we'll do a warehouse. I don't know, I, I think we've, we should show subway next, after this. I think. Um, yeah. Um, for those who, who haven't seen a subway map, on not just a first-person shooter, but just anything, you know, because um, you never see enough subways in games, really. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's only been done about, you know, maybe a hundred times before. It's a very clearly niche market. Developers, yeah. Clearly, developers of this game thought, you know what? Not people can't get enough of the subway, or they don't see enough. Uh, they, they clearly no radar on this game. <laughs> I was just going to mention the same thing. They clearly haven't gone for the mistake that every shooter makes, and putting a radar on. Cause it's not popular in the slightest. They move around so slowly. Bye. <laughs> I can't get out of this room. See, I, when we mentioned earlier this is a versus first day, I think yeah, as we've played this, we're going to have to rethink the format and kind of have it as a versus first day, stroke, look at, stroke, public health warning. Cause <laughs> because, yeah, as we mentioned, it's just an online only game. It's not online only, as in, you know, it's going to be fun and they've put a lot of emphasis into the multiplayer. Uh, it's online only, um, and that's it, and yeah, it's not, you know, they've not even put emphasis into the multiplayer. This does, you know, I'm running this on a decent TV, you know, HD TV, and believe me, it looks, you know, this isn't standard definition, this is HD, and it looks like a PlayStation 2 game, and that is no disrespect to Sony. Um, because the PlayStation 2 is a great <laughs> console. I apologise about dragging your name in the mud <laughs> for the comparison, because it does even black look better than this on the PlayStation 2. Um, probably not, but you know, I'm, I'm being a bit over-exaggerating, uh, over but it is. it does look awful, this, um, for, a, for a 360 game. Yeah, I mean, when you think of some of, some of the other great games that are actually on Xbox Live Arcade as well, then... Hmm. You know, I mean, you get a game like Shadow Complex, which is just unbelievable, you know, still one of the best best arcade games, if not the best. You know, obviously everyone's opinion is different, but it's one of the best on the arcade, and that genuinely looks fantastic for, for a, you know, an arcade title. Um, yeah, and then you get stuff like this, it just... You know, no wonder we couldn't find the game. It just doesn't look appealing. It doesn't, you know, there was no hype for it. Um, I've only managed to read one review. I usually go on Metacritic just to get kind of opinions. Um, 
and like I say, only IGN have reviewed this from what I've seen, and they gave it three out of ten, which is being generous. <laughs> and I suppose it's, sorry, it sounds horrible ripping into this because obviously people have taken time to t develop yeah. this game, but it is. It's just. There's just no atmosphere to it. Nothing feels fun. At hmm. all. I mean, I guess they're kind of trying to be atmospheric without any music, but... It... Oh. Killing Headshot. machine. Alright, I got headshotted. Well, with... <laughs> <laughs> they headshotted. Might probably aim for a window. Uh, yeah. That's how bad the aiming is. I, I'm, I'm just like kind of pointing <laughs> the gun in the general direction and seeing what happens. So you get the feeling they were kind of going for a, a, a modern take on Counter Strike or trying to. Yeah. Bring it but more up to date. Strike was more tactical as well, and you know this. I don't know. I really wanted to like it, you know. And like I said, when I had a few plays, and it was headshot. Uh, you know, it, it was mildly better, but not not by much, you know. Um, and how old's Counter Strike now? I think. Um, Counter Strike, God. Went back a while now. Um, was it some like 2005? I think something like that. Maybe longer. Yeah, I think it's a fairly know, old one. Hmm. And the fact—I mean, people still play like you know Counter Strike and things like that. Um, I know John from the Play Vault does. And I believe you this know, was um, on early access for Steam as well. Which. Uh, I'd be really annoyed at because obviously you're paying to play an unfinished version and from what I understand it was a broken mess. I think we are still playing the unfinished version, <laughs> aren't we? I mean... Um, yeah, for, for for the money this thing is on Xbox Live I, I, there's so much or so many better games out there at the same mm -hmm. price. I mean, yeah. I mean, I joked about it being on Games With Gold in, you know, a few months, but to be honest, if it's not on Games With Gold, it's going to be on uh, Deal of the Week at least. You know, and it's going to, if they really want to sell this game, they're going to have to knock about 50% off. I didn't even get a headshot then. <laughs> but if you watch the video, I, I was aiming, I actually aimed towards one of the uh, massive well, the building, I thought it was one of them crates, but... Yeah, cargo crates, but, uh, yeah, it's... I, I, you know, like, like Mike said, we don't want to knock the developers, because obviously it's people with jobs, you know, just like any developers or shops that go down, you know, like Blockbuster or Terminal Reality recently and things like that, you know, but the fact is, you can't, like Mike just said, you can't release a game like this for twelve pounds, you know, not when you've got so many other great games that are cheaper. You know, Far, I mean, Far Cry Classics out at the minute. Um, I haven't had the chance to play it. I, mean, I played the original, but I've heard great things about it, and that's only seven ninety nine. Yeah, uh, you had an extra ten, and you can get Fable Anniversary. It's or the the complete. Is it the Far Cry collection? That's yeah, a wild exhibition, uh, expedition, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's um, Far Cry, Far Cry 2, 3, and Blood Dragon. Yeah, that's not out yet, that's been set back. Um, but yeah, you know, exactly, and that'll be cheap as well. Oh. <laughs> I've only got three minutes left. Um, I suppose this would be better with a few minutes, you know, it'd be a laugh. I'm not expecting a lot, but, you know, it... <sighs> Like I said, I really wanted to like it. Um, it's just going off your hard drive after this. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll keep it. Just okay. in case. I think yeah, like you say, if people like we said, if people go and get it on games with gold or deal of the week, 
you'll see that sudden jump like Dead Island. Um, you know, obviously by the time the video goes out, it won't be on uh, the other uh, sorry games with gold anymore. Um, but more people have have, have picked up uh, Dead Island again, and myself included. Um, you know, absolutely fair play to Dead Sil uh, Deep Silver. You know, absolutely fantastic little game. Really enjoyed it. Um, so you know, something they're gonna have to do it with something like this because you know, for for more people to play it. Um, it just seems weird and all. I don't think I've ever come across a first-person shooter on Xbox Live that nobody's playing. It's... Yeah. There's... Um, they should have called it Call of Duty Recoil. <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems bizarre because, I mean, first-person shooters are hugely popular on Xbox Live. Uh... But really? This, yeah. Oh, you don't see enough first-person shooters. Um, <laughs> that's the one genre you don't get enough of, and especially, you know, shooters, first-person shooters set like during the war. You know, like World War. You know, the 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 beaches of Normandy just hasn't been done enough. Yeah. Yeah, we've got an idea there. Should. Um, could make a game of that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, like you say, there's, there's, you know, obviously being serious, yeah, there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of uh, first-person shooters on on Xbox Live. Yeah, well, not arcade, but you know, obviously, like you say, played over Xbox Live. So you know, if they wanted, I know they they release this to try and tap into that market, but it's just lifeless. It's Killing machine. Oh what? How did you? How? I don't understand how you missed them. I mean, I understand how you missed them with the auto aim in this thing being as terrible as it is, but you probably get more fun if you change the axis in the options. <laughs> yeah. um, no, because I, I came around the corner and just kind of blind. It was like I blind played in a way. You've uh, just. I've just shot you through the wall. Hell of a job, team. One. One <laughs> shot. Shall we show them the subway? Yeah, because uh, clearly they haven't seen enough. Um, how do we exit this? Do we... Alright, it automatically does it, right. Yeah, um... Hold the briefcase, possibly, yeah. Can I do that? Nah, why not? <laughs> Capture the briefcase. Uh, okay, here we go. Subway. We're in for a treat. See the loading screen there. Hints at the the awesomeness you're about to witness. Yeah, I hope your screens can actually hold this amount of awesomeness that Mike has just described. But am I actually capturing the briefcase now? What? All oh, right. Oh yeah. Huh? So do I have to? What do I do to pick it up? I don't know. Well, I'm stood on one as well. How can Mine's they be? Like a There's two briefcases. Unless no wait. Do you not? Is that not one of them the base to take it to? Ah, I've got to capture the blue one and bring it back to mine, and you've got to capture the red. Right. Yeah, so, you know, capture the flag. It really ain't that clear on it, to be honest. That's the only thing. It's... I mean, obviously, it's not, you know, rocket science, but... On the same end... They've taken our briefcase. Rocket scientists. But... Uh... See? Even that captured the flag. They've made it even more boring by just changing it to a briefcase. We've taken the briefcase. Briefcase wanker. Yeah. Uh, they dropped the briefcase. Fucking we returned the briefcase. French. I mean, Water. that's the most exciting thing about it is the guy who's doing the commentary. He sounds really mm -hmm. stoked to be here. They've stolen the briefcase. We captured the briefcase. We're in the lead. Now let's finish them off. Oh. 
I say it's got kind of counter strike elements to it. You have kind of got to be quite tactical. You can't just go rushing in there. But um... we've taken the briefcase. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm just I'm just stopping to show them the uh, plastic piranha cola machines. And all their awesomeness. Oh, they're not as awesome as like Newcomb Cola. Newcomb Cola. Speaking of which, your character looks like a generic Fallout Free person. Just look like they've taken yeah, them straight. They've out taken of the game. our briefcase. Right, where do I take, I have the briefcase, what do I do, or do I have to capture yours as well, right? Alright. Uh, I thought I had your briefcase, but when I've got back to my point, it's not there anymore. Never mind. Great. why's my assault rifle not shooting? What? This is ridiculous. Killing the briefcase. Oh. <laughs> Return the briefcase. Uh, oh, it's first to five. <laughs> it's uh, not exactly John Woo gun battles, is it? No. Right, you've got that. Damn it. Captured the briefcase. They've taken our briefcase. And now I've got to find you, I think, as well. Stop you from. You value your friendship with Liam. We've taken the briefcase. <laughs> nope. the briefcase. How the hell? Are I have no idea how this is working or not working. As cases. I've got an assault rifle, but it's firing like single single burst. rounds. What? This is I call shenanigans. Is there like ah? Press Y. Apparently that flicks between single shot and full automatic. Ah, uh, right. Now I've got to try and find you. We captured the briefcase. They've taken our briefcase. They dropped the briefcase. We return the briefcase. It doesn't help that the minute one of us picks up the briefcase, you can, if you look in that general direction, it shows you where they are. Yeah. They've taken our briefcase. They've dropped the briefcase. We return the briefcase. In the briefcase. Uh, 
Right. See, it's even now, after the brief, even now, like I said, with the lack of music, it just seems, meh. Mm. They've taken our briefcase. Like when you kind of time running out on some games, you kind of briefcase. Uh, we return the briefcase. Um, you know, like you have that kind of uh, mute, you know, make it a bit tense. Yeah. That kind of countdown music. In, you know. Favorite one of that is the sonic music when you're running out of air. We've taken. Yeah, or when you're running out of air. Yeah. I didn't even know that elevator door worked. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you've won this. I think. We captured the briefcase. Oh, that was Good the job, awful game mode of capture the briefcase. DW. DW. <sighs> I think that. Oops. I, do that. I think that uh, pretty much. Sure. Uh, Oh, is there one more mod you want to show the the folks at home? Recondite. Ah, why not? We'll show them that in the shipyard. Shipyard. Can you see me changing the maps? Yeah. Yeah, just All right. changes. Yeah, if you want to do shipyard, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll let you choose this last map. <laughs> Re Ow. Reek oil. Hey, I've got one on there. Reek oil. Smell. Yeah. I'm gonna go for generic Fallout guy now. Mohawk. Yeah. Nah, this this guy looks like one of those bums you see just wandering around without the Mohawk. Are we on the same? Oh wait, oh wait, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was waiting for the cat, the countdown. I was like, we're on the same, we're on the same team. Mate. So um, you're the, you're the predator dude now. Yeah. When Mike gets turned into it, you'll see it's kind of like an invisible. Hand holding a knife. I could do like, I get the idea with this, which is pretty kind of cool, where you've got to kind of be quite stealthy. Headshot. But at the same time, when you think of, if you're looking for a game mode like this, the old Alien vs. Predator is much better. Yeah. It's much better looking and probably a lot cheaper as well now. Yeah, um, the old Sierra version was fantastic, yeah, as I mentioned on the podcast, yeah. Why has it suddenly just gone grey? That's horrible. Oh, it's a bit more light, more light now. Um, the maps are so big for just two of you. Um, <laughs> Alright, you killed me. Ah, yeah. Nice. I thought it was one hit kill, but fair enough. Uh, why am I still the predator? I thought it was. No, uh, you killed me. See, there's another game. It's, it's, ah, there we are. Similar to this for the PC, isn't there? Where there's like a. One invisible dude and. You've all got to try and capture him? Um, I want to say it's a Gary's Mods so. game or something, but... Mm. But they make it like a lot faster pace. <laughs> and a lot more atmospheric sort of thing, where one is is like a ghost and you just run around hunting the other soldiers. But again, like we were saying, this would probably be not much more, but more fun if people were playing it. There just doesn't seem to be anybody. I mean, maybe they've all yeah, gone off to waited. play the Titan Beta Fall or something. Titan, Titan Fall Beta. Titan Beta Fall. Titan Beta Fall. Yeah. 
And everything's grey. Go through the pipe. No. And if they're going to make you invisible, they could at least make you invisible. Yeah. But then where would be the fun on the other side? <laughs> you just see them coming towards you. Yeah. You know, fair play to Plastic Piranha. You know, this game mode's alright. I think this is the most fun we've had in any of the game modes. I'm, I'm one thing I'm glad this game doesn't have is a bloody get to level rank to get a rank level 50 achievement. I always fucking <laughs> rank 100, reach rank 25, reach rank 20, uh, 50, reach rank 100. Uh, no. Uh, I've never been be good enough, but or if you've got the inclination to want to play a multiplayer for that amount of time. Hmm. I'm kind of one of those people, I can't really play multiple games at a time sort of thing. I have to like concentrate on one game and then move on to the other and on to the other. So I tend yeah. not to play a great deal of multiplayers. And there's not there's not many that have, you know, like, like Blurred's got a great multiplayer. Um, the thing is, it's, it's like you kind of get some multiplayer games and you're just like, uh yeah, you kind of play them, and you you kind of you dedicate yourself to them for a while, and then it's like, and then eventually it's like, you know, you just kind of you eventually just kind of get bored because um, you like you say you've not got enough time, or it's just. Why you just come running <laughs> towards me? Full on kamikaze. Mm. It's like the Assassin's Creed multiplayer. I've never really been a fan. I've, I've, I play it for a bit and then it's just. I've got to say, I quite. Um, I mean, the reviews. I like the ideas. Be up. <laughs> uh, the review might be up during the end of this. Uh, it might not be, but the Assassin's Creed 4 review is coming. Uh, I was a big fan of the. Multiplayer. I enjoyed the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed because it was unique. I think that's the thing that got me. Well, now else is they did something different. Hmm. Yeah, they do. I mean, it kind of doesn't feel that much different to the others. Can uh, after playing, you know, after playing Brotherhood Revelations and Free, but it's you know, it's still got some good ideas and. I mean, the, yeah, the multiplayer and like sends in Assassin's Creed, I think, are, are quite good. Uh, I haven't played mm. a great deal of them, so I don't think they've changed between games that much, have they? No, that's what I mean. You know, you can go back and do Brotherhoods and, the, you know, and, and do Fours, and it's like, there is a bit of difference, but there's not a massive amount. It still has that same game engine, just different modes and just a couple of uh, 
The wolf pack mode's always really good though. Ooh. Oh, I thought I'd killed you. <laughs> yeah, quite. I like the fact that with the Assassin's Creed they did something different. have to pick up that uh fable anniversary all oh, right yeah it's very very good i'm taking my time with it um i would turn the brightness up on it i would recommend because it's kind of quite dark compared to the original i don't mean in terms of like evil i mean obviously depending on what's what kind of choices you make but it seems to be like I say that the, the the like a lot of it is quite dark, really, and, you know, you can see where you're going, but, you know, it just really kind of, the original was a lot brighter, more vibrant. Obviously, you look at the original now, yeah, you know, they've done a fantastic job with, with doing a HD remake of it. Yeah, I did. I really enjoy the first Fable. Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, 2 and 3 weren't that bad. I think they got a bit of a raw deal. Um, you know, laying head with that. I think it was more two and three were more tainted because Peter um, Mullen <laughs> was just kind of yeah he was bigging it up. I mean, like remember when was it in Fable Three where they said there was going to be a connect and then it was cut out and obviously they did uh, Fable the Journey. But that was after though he left, wasn't it? Uh, he left uh, mid development with Journey, I think. Yeah. I think I played the did, demo, it wasn't great, but... Did mm? Fable 3 have some connect support? No. Huh. No, I usually have that bloody purple bar that says better with connect, which isn't true. <laughs> it's just a lie. shot. Well, that's Peter, though. I mean, Peter Monolu is known for, like, just bigging stuff up and blatantly bullshitting yeah, people when it comes to his games. Yeah. I mean, fair play for his passion. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, I, mean, I love that, the fact that the guy very rarely has anything negative to say. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, do you remember Milo and Kate? The creepiness that was that. Oh, it rings a bell. It was where it showed the video of the girl. When Connect was originally Project Natal, and uh, it was the girl held up. He was, was a little boy, basically. I, mean, I couldn't get away with it now. What the Operation U Tree, but it was um, a boy uh, on the screen called Milo, and obviously the video was a girl called Kate, a real like real woman. She was basically in front of the Kinect camera, and like she held a note out, and he picked it up on the screen, and he was like, "Come play with me," and oh, it yeah. was weird. Just creepy stuff. That was like what five years ago, I think. Now, yeah, I remember the old uh, Project Natal. Fact. Yeah, it would have been about five years ago, wouldn't it? Yeah, cause it came out in 2010. Yeah. I believe it's been four years since Connect came out. But yeah, well, four years in November. But yeah. Um... Well, yeah, that was. Uh, I believe that's. We've shown them all the. I use the word interesting game modes and in inverted commas. Uh, but. Did we do capture the briefcase or did we hold the briefcase? Wow. Um, <laughs> I don't think uh, the viewers could deal with the excitement of seeing both mods. Oh god, yeah, they just spontaneously combust. <sighs> yeah. Well, peeps, I believe. Um, I think that's enough recoil for anyone to ever have to endure, to be honest, don't you think? It's more regret than recoil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, uh, that was Recoil on the Xbox 360, kind of a look at Slash versus Thursday Slash... Uh, right. uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you all for watching, because if you've stuck it out this far, you deserve a knighthood or something. Uh, and, yeah, uh, I'll say goodbye from me.
Um, <laughs> Sorry. Goodbye from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out the other content we have up on the uh, site. And we will catch you all in whatever next video we have up, which isn't this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.